Today we're gonna convert a 12 volt car alternator into a 70 volt car alternator. First, pop that back cover. Then we'll remove the rectifier and the voltage regulator off the alternator. One way to desolder the stator wires is to use a mini torch. This is a wire wound 30 ohm rheostat. We're gonna use it to control the rotor current. That way we control the magnetic field to get the voltage that we want. This is a 300 amps full bridge rectifier and I mounted aluminum heat sink just to keep it cool. I'm using 3 amp 13.8 volt to manually control the rotor magnetic field. The positive goes to the middle of the rheostat. And the other side goes to the positive of the rotor brush. Then the ground connection goes back to the power source.
today the weather is warm enough for me to get outside to do some testing. Here's a review of the setup. The 3 amp power supply plugs into the same extension as the motor. The red cable is the positive power source which goes directly to the middle of the rheostat. And the negative terminal of the power source goes directly to the casing of the alternator. The rectifier converts AC output from the alternator to DC for our testing today. We got a 10 inch 13 amp miter saw and a small and very old jigsaw to start our testing. Well, if you made it this far, you are a mighty legend. And thank you for watching.